Felix, what an incredibly tense Indianapolis 500 that was, featuring you in the lead with about 20 laps to go, a red flag stoppage close to the end, and eventually a P4 finish in the greatest spectacle in racing. Take us through this crazy race. It was, uh, I mean, it was surprisingly smooth for being indie. I think everything kind of worked out uh, to the plan, which is not normal here. Um, we we kind of wanted to stay in the top 10 in the beginning, pretty much where we started, and just save fuel and be on the right strategy, take it easy, not doing anything crazy, which worked out. Uh, lost some spots at, at some two of the restarts, and then. We had a really good pit stop after that, we put, which put us back in P4. And from there on, we were like, you know, we're in the contention to win the race because we're we're super fast. And uh, it was it, it felt like anyone in the top six at that moment could could probably win. Uh, then we had one stint, the second last stint, the car felt very oversteery because we we tried to use another stagger on the tires which is called which means the right rear is bigger and it causes the car to oversteer more uh, and i didn't really like that but then for the final stint i was like let's put it back on because it kind of helps you to follow and make a move on, on on a car in front and we just wanted to be aggressive but it, it, we overstepped it quite a bit and uh, i couldn't really i didn't get the right feeling with the car in the last stint and and that caused us to kind of like didn't really feel like i had what it took to win uh, then we had another yellow uh, or red flag actually uh, before the end and uh, yeah it's kind of nerve-wracking but I, I think we did a good job just staying calm and and trying to capitalize on that situation I mean it was p4 in the restart and I wanted to go to p3 and I had a like side-by-side -side moment with Kanan for turn one and it didn't really work out but hey I think we uh, we did really well today we, we had a pretty much problem-free race which is first time in a long time uh, good confidence boost for, for the seven car in general and uh, just uh, just amazing. You came so close though to something potentially even bigger leading the race, close to the podium as well. Where in the end did you feel that maybe you lost out, especially to the Ganassi cars? Uh, I think when, uh, when I was leading and then Marcus and Pado kind of towed past me, I was still in the contention. Then I had one mistake in turn four where I had a big washout as we call it when you get a big understeer kind of miss the line a bit a little bit and uh, that's where i kind of lost the chance so that's when kanan got by me and he couldn't really catch those two so i was just kind of sitting behind him and uh at that point i was like okay at this point if i finish third i'm, I'm happy uh, but yeah i mean it, it's i think as a team you know finish second and fourth it's always mixed feelings but uh we will we'll take it it's good it's a good point stay and obviously huge congrats to my fellow swede marcus i saw him on the tv there drinking milk and i managed to actually see him uh doing the the lap of honor or fame or whatever you call it and uh, that, that was uh that's a big moment for him in his career i mean i can't even imagine what he's going through right now in his in his head uh, you guys started out even karting against each other some 20 years ago by now, didn't you? Yeah, we did, and we haven't, you know, we kind of gone different paths and then came back to IndyCar, and I, I feel this year, we actually talked about it, which is ironic, like last night we sat down and just, you know, chilled a little bit outside the, the motorhomes, and uh, and we were like, I think it's, I have a feeling it's going to be Swedish, so, any of us is going to win tomorrow, that, that's, that's kind of what we said, and... Uh, then in the end there, when I saw that he was the one that was like coming in my mirror when I was leading, I was like, ah, oh, this is, it's like a cool moment, but obviously frustrating as well. But uh, yeah, I think it's a great day for, for my country, Sweden, to, to have two cars in the top four in the biggest race of the world. That's really cool. It's rather sensational, uh, to be honest. And let's face it, it's your best overall result in IndyCar so far, a P4 finish, a great place and a great venue to pick that moment. This must set you up for a good couple of coming rounds now as we head to Detroit and Road America. Yeah, I mean, uh, I'm just so pleased with how everything worked today. I mean, we, we, we've been leading a lot of oval races and we felt like we could win a, a lot of them, but there's always been one kind of mistake that's, you know, or car failure or, you know, strategical error that's been the reason why we couldn't. And, and, and today we, we had, like, there wasn't any mistakes and we had, I'd be surprised if anyone had a better pit stop than we did. Uh, and that's just what we want. I think that's a huge confidence boost for, for the 7 crew. Uh, for me, I mean, we just showed today, if we can be here fighting for a win, we, we, can, we can do that the rest of the season.